All right, so we're going to take a look at EUG versus Twang and do a little in-depth analysis of uh, the recorded game. So let's go and take a look. And we're going to be looking at just any small things that we can find to maybe help uh, EUG out here. This is, this is for EUG and his benefits, hopefully. So we're not going to, we may speed up the later parts of the game, but uh, early on we'll just take a look at build orders, efficiencies, things like that. Are you keeping the TC going? We're going to we're gonna look at it all today. And I'm going to fire up just a little bit of music here to keep myself entertained. Or, or we can just do, we'll just do game music, hold on. comes on here maybe not all right so we're gonna go back to regular music I guess oh no, there's the music there we go all right so far so good builders are creating sheep are exploring Looks like we got six sheep found, we found the back gold, we found the boar. All sheep found, that's good. No need to force drop yet. You found both of your boars, you got your stones. Golds, you're, you're probably okay. Um, there's not really too much more need, I would say, to explore with those sheep. If you really wanted to, you could, but that's not really a big deal since you have found your most important resources. You can even see some deer way out there. I believe I'm only going to watch this from EUG's perspective. As we were focused on this, I actually did stream this game and I was switching back and forth between, so kind of commenting on both players, but uh, this one is specific to player one. Seven on cheap, I would say that one, one maybe. Or, uh, it's okay, I guess we just have a little bit different build orders. really say that that's bad. Normally does I would say the seventh villager go get the boar. Could be better to get the boar a bit closer. Makes force dropping off a little bit. Usually these guys are fine but like it's a little awkward for the villagers on the outside. This is something that I'm a little bit lazy to do to get the boar in a nice, basically nice and under that town center. Um, maybe you should harvest a little bit more on your boar here. You might lose a little bit of food to waste only doing taking it with five and doing a sheep at the same time. And... Did we idle villager production for a short time? Not too long, not too bad. Taking the war at a decent time, maybe just a little bit early. Only early because there's five, so if there were six or more, it would probably be right on time. And hopefully these, let's see what these villagers are doing. So one thing that I notice is uh, for drushes, usually villager 17 uh, should be taking gold, villager 18 should be building the barracks. And so you're just you're just maybe like a villager off on uh, the drush timing, and you're taking an extra 10 gold, which is never bad but not necessary. 
unless you're playing on doing men at arms, but I don't I don't know that you're doing that this game. losing this count so that's good it's kind of uh, sucking news when you lose your scout when you're trying to rush especially six on berries that's standard Um, maybe at this point consider doing a little bit of walling. At least the start of it, you know, while your back corner that you see, maybe start walling in a half circle up here. Dra kind of doing that already. So at this point I'm just going to pause the, oh, you can't pause the replay, okay. Gonna take Vaga War up and see where Tong is. And he's that's right, he was not drifting back, so So the drush really wasn't that bad. Um, if you had done it the other way your men at arms might be here by that time rather than over here. So maybe you could deny the barracks possibly. If you deny a barracks, a late barracks, like this Tong did a pretty late barracks here, then uh, that can be big trouble. Uh, make sure when you're drushing, like these guys should be planting farms already. You should have three farmers up. Okay. So you're basically doing that. You should have two more farmers up right away. So just a little bit behind on the farm planting. But yeah, killing a killing a villager, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he let a few live there. Depends on two if you're doing Drush FC, uh, which you weren't doing a fast castle in this case, you're doing feudal, so uh, you wouldn't quite have to plant as many farms if you didn't want to. But I really think you could have done more more farms. Overall, uh, pretty good use pretty good uh, use of the drush. Five hundred wood is I'd say kind of a lot to have going up. So maybe readjust your lumberjacks the next time you do it. Either take more gold or maybe take more food. Get to the castle age quicker or get the upgrades um, upgrades quicker. Your fletching and archer armor. So here you're going to see what happened when you were doing your little wall piece. This villager basically got stuck and uh, then he was able to get in. That was a, that was pretty lucky timing too, but uh, I suppose could have been prevented. Uh, maybe you should have thought about that suitor too. Since you knew he had units out, you should probably have expected them to come forward right away. Uh, after your drush died and you knew he had militia. 
uh, no loom that could that's a problem you should probably get that before you click feudal 100% uh, of the time especially and again especially since he has units out you really want to get the loom before clicking feudal So he really causes a lot of idle time on you. Uh, a good move by you is getting your villagers back over to finish your ranges. Uh, it would have been good of Tuang to maybe deny those for a bit longer. And he may have done more damage with, with that. Uh, but good, good move to get your units back over and finish your buildings. Uh, but yeah, you should have closed that up too. Villagers are going, that's good. Maybe don't send your hurt villagers to build if you can help it. And he did deny the second one from fully being built, but getting one at least, that's a good start. Wall that up. So Twang isn't really coming forward with too much, too much pressure, or at least as far as archers go. And I believe that was because his problem was he was only producing out of one range. Uh, if he would have managed his economy a bit better, I think uh, he could have done more damage. He didn't have, I don't think he had enough villagers on gold. Yeah, he's still two villagers, no, still only four now, and five, that's not enough. So he lost his chance to put extra pressure on you. Uh, meanwhile, you are, let's see, you're probably over here. So this, this is an okay idea. If knowing seeing what uh map that you saw but if you had a little bit better exploration of your own base uh you could have just simply put a wall there and not spent the stone on that tower so but seeing what you saw it's a good tower but if you had more of the map explored you, could, you it would be probably unnecessary you had a good choke point here you had an army out in front um so probably could have saved yourself some stone there uh, but finishing the wall up in your base is good. Put your fog of war back on. So you have upgrades, uh, and he doesn't. But you're still fighting downhill, which is a bit... Bit risky. Okay, micro. I mean, it turned out not too bad. Um, but is it? This is a pretty big hill. I maybe you could retreat and kind of go around and come up the backside, uh, and you might have been able to win that fight a little bit stronger. Which you, you did okay, but let's check back home. So okay, so here you have a thousand wood. That's that's no good. Uh, you should have had a ton of farms, and then uh, a market to balance your economy. That's that's way too much floating wood. You could have done a lot with that. One stone miner. That's that's okay. To re start recovering the stone that you used on the tower. Getting ready for Castle Age and making more town centers, that's fine to do. You're starting to get numbers on Tuang, and uh, he's finally got enough villagers to produce out of two ranges. Um, that, that really hurt him here. 
as he's only producing, previously was only producing out of one range for quite a long time, and uh, you had quite an army lead on him. You got you got both rangers working, which is super important. You're still floating a thousand wood, so really think about getting that market up uh, much sooner. Balancing your eco, your archers are nice and close. Uh, denying his walling. This is big. Uh, Tuang should have walled back just a bit farther if he didn't have the units to protect his base there. Maybe just take a wall down there to give himself a few more seconds. Ultra production steady, adding a couple more vills on stone, that's okay. 1400 wood now. I think you're gonna finally seed a few farms, but yeah, that's again, that's way too much. You can be castle with with that gathering time. Tong does a an okay job here, uh, doing a little bit of a surprise attack. Um, but the difference is you have the hill here, and uh, that was not a good move by Tong. Just sitting sitting here fighting you on this. Doesn't matter how big the hill is, one tile elevation difference gives you 25% more damage and you take 25% less. So it's it's a 50% advantage swing if you're on a higher elevation, it's incredible. So he should have probably won that fight even better, but again, in, in both spots you were on hills, which that was good. One range, oh. Not idle for too long, that's good. Uh, up to 1800 wood. We're getting to the point of unacceptable <laughs> on your wood count. That's that's way too much wood. Good that you have it, but it needs to be put to use. Uh, that being said, you do have a, a decent score lead, so... Tong coming in again with a nice little sneak attack. Probably worth it to stay and get those villagers. Um, most most of these guys had a little health anyway, so good to get that economy damage. And probably smart of you to save whatever our archers you had left. He he probably should have just stayed towards his opening. Uh, let's take a look again. So you're finally up to castle. That's good. Adding a few more farms. Still a lot of wood. Uh, reseed your lumber camps for sure. You're doing now, and you finally got that plugged up too. That's good. I would even advance it just a little bit farther out. Let's see what you can see. Yeah, you can't really see it. So, again, all things considered, what you can see, that's the best move you could do from what you vision you had available. Uh, good idea. You're keeping. Let's see if you get this one going right away. Yeah, make sure you're continuing, there you go, continue to produce units as you're aging up. So you got three ranges going, that's perfect. And you're keeping them working like town centers, which is the goal. Uh, I think this is one thing that Tuang really failed to do at his end of the game. He has quite an unfortunate goal though on the outside. This one, pretty rough too. focus back at home so <laughs> at this point um, it's like you can advance cost and see where's it advancing to the next age cost 15% left so I mean if you're <laughs> at this point if you went up you could drop uh, a university and a yo uh, you in game I'm doing your uh, <laughs> I'm recording your thing man Got to get yeah, out of here. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll pop out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, before UG interrupted me live, um, like you have enough resources to basically go imp right off the bat with Italians. So I, I kept saying during my stream, uh, maybe he's saving for imp or something. Um, so yeah, just floating resources. OK, 
Okay, you're doing a pretty good job though, keeping your ranges working, which is awesome. Housed happens to the best of us. University going for ballistics, that's good, but yeah, still a 1k wood in the bank. Um, got a few hundred point score lead. Let's take a look at Fog of War. Probably good that you're going in split formation because you're not sure if Tuang has Meganel yet. Good idea to go back. At this point you realized, eh, I probably need a Meganel. Uh, if I were Tuang, which I'm going to quickly switch to him and see what he's got for stone, he needs to get stone quick and he needs to get a castle right on the cell where his skirmishers are. If he did that, he would probably have the time he needed to recover, uh, but he missed that strategic part that, I mean, this is such a huge hill, so important. Um, you got to couple mangoes queued up now you're starting to balance your eco a bit more or at least uh, okay we've got two idle ranges now that can be okay depending on what your strategies are that's maybe too many villagers queued up the only reason why you may not want to queue that many up is you know you might need that food for something else some other technologies um, so you want to keep it probably no more than two, three villagers queued at the most, unless you're like just floating and floating and floating in food. But uh, and again, recede those camps. It makes a big difference uh, receding. Uh, let's see here. Stop producing archers, which fair enough. You have a pretty good amount. You got a mango with you. I'd say that's fine. Twang is just getting absolutely chewed alive here. Like he, when he sees a manga now like that, he needs to go back. <laughs> So his big mistake was he should have had a siege workshop out like 10 minutes ago. Uh, you're still not queuing archers, which is okay. You pretty much got all of them. You should probably be thinking about imp. See, so you're gonna go forward, just maybe build a castle. Say so yeah, a little bit heavy on the vill. If you if you went down to two villagers per TC, you would have enough food to go imp. Especially with the Italians being a little bit cheaper. Uh, what did you have the buildings that you had? Uh, yeah, university workshop you could have gone in a couple times, but... Not bad. So this castle, I... I think would be better, again, on a bigger... This hill is quite large. So move it up on high, as high in the hill as you can get it. I think here for you is, it's, well, actually, yeah, on top of this hill still might be the best castle, although this is in range of his gold, or pretty close to it. So it's still an acceptable castle. Um, but this has been pretty much denied even before this castle was up. Fog of War on so you can see. He's not even on that goal, yeah. 8 plus 2 is 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So Deny is most of it. Not the back half, but this is... He has terrible gold anyways, then. <laughs> Look at this. It's awful. So yeah, for most map control... Uh, this top of this hill, or maybe just slightly down it. Going in the TC, that 
that's fine. You are up to Imperial, We're halfway there. Maybe mine gold Twang's gold instead of taking his wood. So Twang had a pretty pretty decent manganel defense. Um, got a number of units for free, and with that hill advantage, even though you had the nice shot on him, like. It's not even enough to kill it. Um, so he had a good... Yeah, he had a great manganel defense, so... It's probably a good idea that you kind of gave up that side. Or that push, rather. Up to Imp, the first thing you make is Trebs. Excellent. That's exactly what you want to do. Play Barding. So here's where I disagree. That should have been Bracer immediately. And you should have went Arb immediately. Uh, I know you're doing... We are talking and you're doing the Nightmare strategy. Which is still awesome. But, oh, okay. There's a second Blacksmith. That's a good idea. Especially if you're going to be switching units. Um multiple blacksmiths is the way to go uh, but definitely do your I mean the army that you have out upgrade it first so yeah take bracer immediately take chemistry which you're doing and the only thing I didn't see is arbalest should have been out immediately too um, and your second blacksmith to start checking into your hussars is also a good move you could almost do three blacksmiths since you're going to have to be doing a complete, you have no techs in melee, so you should probably do two blacksmiths for your, uh, uh, your stable stuff and one for your archers. When you're trapping them down, um, you should move to this hill. You'll get, instead of, it'll take way longer to take this castle down, trapping it from down here rather than if you had up here in the, the advantage. Um, it's still it's still safer, I guess, in a little way down here, because you're closer to castle, but... Um, it's the end. Good mango, two for one. Stop interrupting your own game uh, analysis. This does not make for good YouTube. Alright. Um, so at this point, the game is basically over. I think we can go up a little bit. So here we got uh, the nightmare strategy, which I did enjoy. Just spam the crap out of these Hussar and just nuke everything. So at this point, uh, Tuang is completely dead. He, I don't know, he's just grasping at straws, I guess. Going down to the end, but he's uh, toast. Oh, I see. A little jailbreak. Uh, maybe think about taking relics. Especially important in 1v1. Uh, you had a, at least two on your side that were easy to grab. Well, I don't know. That's exploration. Okay, so here's the key. Make sure you explore the corners. Um, and that's the GG. So yeah, make sure you hit the hit the corners. There's a lot of stuff that could be down here. 
uh, in this case, it was only Tuang Zico, but it looks like he went relic hunting too down here. There was one. Um, make sure you know what's available for your enemy to go to as well. Like if he's back here, it doesn't look like he's got much, but he's got you know a couple town centers, a relic, a gold pile. So again, just hit. Make sure you're, um, you can do a little bit ex better exploration on the outsides and know what what options your enemy has available to him. Otherwise, uh, good game, UG. Well played. And that will conclude uh, our tutorial. No, not tutorial. Our analysis. Thanks. Have a good one.